my fund of life is very simple 101% everything of life is beautiful there cannot har cheez everything is beautiful matlab sahi bhi beautiful galat bhi beautiful nahi there galat to ho hi nahi sakta na i don't think we stop making mistakes i'm 52 <laughs> I would say I've made mistakes all my life. I've learned. I'm. I'm still trying to learn. I don't. वो आपको रिस्क समझ में नहीं आता ना मतलब वो अलग बात है. कई बार लाइफ में ऐसी बहुत सारी चीजें होती हैं जो हम अपने तरीके से एक्सप्रेस करना चाहते हैं. पर हर बार ऐसे हो नहीं पाता क्योंकि बाकी लोगों को हमारी बातें हमारे व्यूज हमारे ओपिनियंस पसंद नहीं आते एंड दैट इज अ स्पेस वेर वी गो टू फाइंड एंड समटाइम्स फाइट फॉर आर सेल्फ एक्सप्रेशन आर गेस्ट ऑन द शो टुडे विक्रम बाबा इज अ रिनाउंड फोटोग्राफर एंड ही हैड टू गो थ्रू अ स्ट्रगल ऑफ सिमिलर नेचर वी गोट टॉक अबाउट दिस एंड मच मोर हाय विक्रम हाय हाय अदिति थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बीइंग ऑन अ शो आपके बारे में बहुत सारी चीजें कंट्रोवर्शियल रही है <laughs> आपने रिसर्च करी है हाँ जी बहुत सारी मैंने कहा ये कंट्रोवर्सी ये कंट्रोवर्सी ये भी कंट्रोवर्सी हाँ. तो ऐसे कंट्रोवर्शियल करियर में और इसी टॉपिक पे जो हम हमारे लिसनर्स को बताएंगे पर इसी टॉपिक पे काम करने की हिम्मत कहाँ से आई आई डोंट नो आई थिंक माय फादर टेल्स मी कि मैं मेरे दादाजी के जैसे हूँ एंड माई ग्रैंड फादर वॉज एक्सट्रीमली एक्सट्रीमली स्ट्रेट फॉर्ड my father says not everybody liked him because of that and uh, i am somewhat <laughs> like him <laughs> but main bolte na apne zameer ke sath ladai nahi kar sakta jo hai samne hai aise hi hai i main kisi ko you know hurt nahi karna chahta hu nor do i want to get hurt but don't tell me i cannot do this in my one life because it is one life you know and i have almost died uh, couple of times couple of times uh, maybe more but my last one was really uh, interesting now it's like yaar ek hi life hai ab nahi jiyunga to kab jiyunga abhi aapne ye baat chedi hai to mujhe puchna padega ki aise kya hua so i had a bad accident sometime back a few years back where um, my car toppled 5 7 times and we flew maybe a few hundred meters away from the road avoiding a biker who decided to take a turn suddenly so luckily usko kuch nahi hua but my car was wrecked we were upside down and uh, my nephews were with me chote we all survived without a scratch we came out so it is like another life Miracle, now because yeah. when i saw i knew that this is happening and i was aware ke ab ye ja rahi hai and i thought it's the end to be very frank and oh. i even apologized to my nephews when it was happening because i thought they're going to get hurt yeah and i felt someone hold me actually someone hold me and tell me this is the time you need to get out when the car the last roll if you want to call it i don't i don't want anybody to see it but it's like you see the sky going round and round the trees coming the floor coming two three times so the last one when it fell down i knew i'm coming down and someone was uh, shouting in my head get out now now get out so till then i felt like someone was holding me so when i actually walked out i didn't remember all that i just was bothered ki mere nephew usko bahar nikalna hai unko bahar nikala maine jaldi se क्योंकि सीट बेल्ट पहनी हुई थी लकीली सीट बेल्ट सबकी खोली बाहर निकाला एंड जब मैंने मेरे डैड को फोन किया दो चार घंटे बाद व्हेन एवरीथिंग सेटल डाउन कि वी हैड अ एक्सीडेंट एंड ऑल वी गॉट सेव द कार इज सो स्ट्रॉन्ग लाइक डैड टोल्ड मी कार नहीं बेटा ऊपर भगवान ने तेरे को बचाया एंड आई एम लकी लाइक माय यू नो पेरेंट्स आर नॉट द टाइप हु गेट लाइक यू नो दे आर लाइक वेरी यू कैन से God loving, practical. So the first thing is ask you guys are okay, you know. So that was enough. So I just realized like you know, okay, life is for living. I mean, it's a journey. Of course, you keep realizing every day. You keep thinking, hmm. you know, what if? So you're saying the inevitable parts of life. हम जितने जल्दी accept कर ले वो ज़्यादा आसानी से हम उसको deal कर सकते हैं. Of course, you have to accept it. I have to accept that everybody I love in my life is going away one day. Some have gone, some will go. Hmm. You know. so i will also go hmm. but you have to live for now you can't think mai kal mar jaunga to kya hoga ha of course that mental thought is there ki can i leave something for the loved ones piche unka khayal rakhne ke liye and all that stuff but beyond that aapke ye haath mein hi nahi hai to then why think about it so much but vikram aapne jo decisions liye hai wo aise lagta hai ki maut ko jaldi bula liya jaise aapne controversies ko jaldi bula liya nahi maine stand liya hai I'm going to tell our listeners what you do and let's talk about why that choice of work. Okay. So you're a photographer 
who way ahead of his time decided to do nude photography jo log iske liye taiyar nahi the definitely india iske liye taiyar nahi tha to pehli baar ye project kiya to kya man mein tha nahi i don't agree with that mere se pehle bahut jan aaye jinhone nudes kiye bahut beautiful nudes kiye mere se much much better unhone itna dikhaya nahi openly jitna maine dikhaya माय चॉइस वाज के न्यूज में क्यों शूट कर रहा हूँ बहुत लोग होते हैं क्रिएटिविटी के लिए शूट करते हैं और कहते हैं मुझे एक्सपेरिमेंट करना है मुझे शूट करना है फिर वो शूट कर करके डब्बे में डाल देते हैं मेरा फंडा इज वेरी सिंपल अगर मैं कुछ काम कर रहा हूँ अगर वो क्रिएटिव है तो मैं दिखाने के लिए कर रहा हूँ मैं अपने लिए अपने आप को खुश करके एक बॉक्स में रख के निकले नहीं कर रहा हूँ तो वॉट एवर प्रोजेक्ट आई डन हैज ऑलवेज बीन सिंपल दिस इज अ प्रोजेक्ट विच आई वॉन्ट टू शो लोग देखें एक कॉन्वर्जेशन करें मे बी इट्स जस्ट समथिंग ब्यूटिफुल दैट आई वॉन्टेड टू कैप्चर एंड वेन आई कैप्चर समथिंग ब्यूटिफुल आई वॉन्ट द वर्ल्ड ऑल्सो टू सी इट एंड एंजॉय इट सी माई फंड ऑफ लाइफ इज वेरी सिंपल हंड्रेड एंड वन परसेंट एवरी थिंग ऑफ लाइफ इज ब्यूटिफुल एवरी थिंग इज ब्यूटिफुल मतलब सही भी ब्यूटीफुल गलत भी ब्यूटीफुल नहीं देख गलत तो हो ही नहीं सकता ना क्या बात है क्योंकि गलत से ही सही निकलता है अगर आप गलती नहीं करोगे तो आप सीखोगे नहीं अगर आप समझो सो लोगों ने गलत काम किया एक को भी समझ आ गया ये गलत है ना उसमें से एक सीख मिली है दैट इज वॉट आई कैप्चर सबको मिल जाती है वो सबको मिल जाती है वो देखो सबको लेनी है नहीं लेनी वो अलग बात है बट माई चॉइस फॉर माई सेल्फ इज दैट आई वॉन्ट टू ओनली स्माइल लाफ बी हैपी uh see the beauty in everything i can you know and uh, because that is what god sent us here mm-hmm. we get stuck in humko ye chahiye humko ye karna hai humko ye nahi ho raha hai humko ye nahi mila and my fund is very simple ab aaj jitna marzi ro lo ya to aapko paise de raha hai koi uske liye theek hai to ro lo agar aapko paise nahi mil rahe to aap kyu ro rahe ho kyu awaaz kar rahe ho kyu chilla rahe ho gaadi ka accident ho gaya acha chilla lo jitna marzi chillana hai gaadi to theek nahi hone wali aur abhi isse deal karna hi padega to usko really karna hai na to fir roz ke chilla ke kya hai gaadi wale ka number le lo aur chale jao ghar pe it's a simple fact of life we don't seem to understand ke the more time we waste on the negative you have less time for the positive at least in your mind right So, मेरे से पहले बहुत जन आए जिन्होंने शूट किया थोड़ा बहुत दिखाया डिफरेंस ये था मैंने ओपन नहीं दिखाया दिखाया का मतलब ये आप कह रहे हो कि जो भी आपने काम किया उसको आपने शोकेस ज़्यादा किया लाइक आर्ट हुआ यू नो ऑनलाइन हुआ कॉम्पिटिशन हुए लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम द ओनली इंडियन फोटोग्राफर और राधर द फर्स्ट आई डोंट थिंक मेरे बाद कोई आया हुआ इज वन द फर्स्ट प्राइज फॉर न्यूज टू ईयर्स इन रो इंटरनेशनली ओके आई डोंट नो वाई आईदर लोग जो है क्या बोलते हैं दिखा नहीं रहे हैं या जो शूट कर रहे हैं वो डर के शूट कर रहे हैं ओपनली नहीं कर रहे हैं या मे बी देर थिंकिंग मोर अबाउट द लाइटिंग वेर इज आई एम थिंकिंग मोर अबाउट द कॉन्टेंट द फर्स्ट प्राइज आई गॉट वॉज जस्ट द नेकेड गर्ल स्टैंडिंग स्ट्रेट नथिंग एल्स शी वॉज रॉ नो मेकअप नो नथिंग आई कॉल द पिक्चर ऑल्सो रॉ ओनली थिंग इज हर बॉडी वॉज फेक मतलब वॉट पीपल डू टू डे टू एनहेंस दम सेल्स and my reason for shooting it is why do you want to do that when you are already given a great body wow. and why cannot we see a girl just standing naked a man to khade ho jate hai na road pe ganji ke bina aap dekhte ho sara time ladki khadi hoti hai to why is there such a big noise yeah. because ye yeah. hamare man mein hai nahi ye humko sikhaya gaya so this is something i learnt from a very dear friend uh, I, i will name her dr alka pande she was giving a lecture both of us were giving a having a conversation at kalagoda festival on nudity mm-hmm. in india एंड हमारे हिंदुस्तानियों को किसी को नहीं पता है अंग्रेजों से पहले सब लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन एक खाली एक बोलते ना सदरा या कपड़ा पहन के घूमते थे दे वॉज सेमी नेकेड ऑन टॉप मैन एंड वुमेन सिमिलरली ड्रेस नॉट ऑफ द अपर क्लास बट ऑफ द मिडल एंड लोअर क्लास बिकॉज इट वॉज नॉर्मल गर्मी होती है कपड़ा नहीं होता था वी वर वेरी ओपन टू इट इंटीरियर ऑफ वेस्ट बेंगाल में आई आई ट्रेवल लॉट और वहां पे एक कम्युनिटी uh, है वहाँ पे लोग सिर्फ जो औरतें yeah. हैं वो सिर्फ साड़ी पहनती है विदाउट ब्लाउज एंड देर एब्सोल्युटली ओपन अबाउट इट एंटायर संथाल कम्युनिटी कहते हैं लाइक यू नो माय ग्रैंड मदर्स मदर एंड ऑल दे यूज्ड टू ड्रेस अप लाइक दैट बिकॉज इट वाज नॉर्मल एंड मेन डिन लुक एट इट इन अ बैड वे वुमेन डिन लुक एट इट इन अ बैड वे इट वॉज वेन द ब्रिटिश केम टू इंडिया टू सेटल विद देयर लेडीज दैट वॉज फॉर देम द विक्टोरियन एज वेर देर ड्रेस्ड अप इन फाइव लेयर्स 
that they used to get embarrassed because they came from a culture and and weather jahan yeah the unka weather bhi waisa tha culture bhi waisa tha where they were always covered up like head to toe so when they would see naked women coming and working in their offices and you know just walking around the streets with jewelry and just nudity they could not take it so the law of obscenity was brought into india by them not by us so ye hamari angrez chale gaye nahi hai to angrez chale gaye unka culture hamare sath piche chhod gaya aur ye ye mental block yeah. is about like what you can and what you cannot, you cannot do so it's a, and and more than anything i think it's uh, people taking advantage of a situation i say to get famous matlab hamare gande pe goli rakh ke aap famous ho rahe ho chilla chilla ke dekho inhone ye shoot kar diya inhone ye shoot kar diya inhone ye dikha diya जैसे यू नो देर आर मेनी अदर कॉन्ट्रोवर्सीज ऑन मेन बीइंग न्यूड आल्सो अभी तो रणवीर सिंह की जो आई थी हम लोगों ने एक वीडियो बनाया उस पे कि कितना डिस्कशन होगा और कितना टाइम हम वेस्ट करेंगे आई वाज आल्सो देयर ऑन टीवी यू नो टॉकिंग अबाउट इट कि ही इज रियली अ नॉन स्टार्टर इज जस्ट समवन ट्राइंग टू बी फेमस बाय डूइंग दैट यू नो इट्स पीपल जब उनके पास काम नहीं होता है जब उन्होंने लाइफ में कुछ नहीं किया होता वही आवाज करते हैं वही ऐसी बेसलेस कंट्रोवर्सी बेसलेस कंट्रोवर्सी करते हैं अगर uh, आपको रियली आर्ट के बारे में पहले चिल्लाना है तो जाइए आप पहले सीखिए गो टू एन आर्ट कॉलेज आर्ट अप्रिसिएशन देखो देन आप आके चिल्लाओ ना देन आप बोलो हाँ मैं जानता हूँ उसके बारे में आपने गलत किया बट आप कुछ जानते ही नहीं आप खाली आवाज कर रहे हो तो यू शुड सी मेरे साथ एक कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी हुई थी तो कोर्ट ने बहुत सिंपल कहा कि ये एग्जीबिशन एक आर्ट गैलरी में है, इज सपोज टू प्रमोट आर्ट राइट ऑल दी अदर आर्ट गैलरीज आल्सो और लीडर्स इन द आर्ट कम्युनिटी सेट दिस इज आर्ट तो इट्स फिनिश्ड खत्म हो गई बात कहीं no... पे आपने ये बाहर नहीं दिखाया कहीं पोस्टर्स पे नहीं yes, लगाया होल थिंग सो बेसिकली द आइडिया इज दैट यू डोंट लाइक इट डोंट सी इट पर ये फैसिनेशन विथ न्यूडिटी या फिर to show the original form of body ye aapko kab pata chala ki aapko ye karna hai because it is risky in the yes, setup that we are uh ek to i am a sikh so i don't understand risky <laughs> 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 i don't understand the meaning of fear that word <laughs> so uh so actually when i started as a photographer uh it was just a hobby in college mm. um which i think came into me from my parents they have some fantastic images jo wo khud ke khinchte the they used to dress up properly wo zamana ka aise hi tha tight saree yeah. suits and stuff like that and then uh, kashmir mein khade hoke self portraits <laughs> with those stand pe camera laga ke right. which is not easy okay and um, so i think it just came into me from there then college mein i was just experimenting models nahi bol sakte friends ko shoot karna इवेंट्स को शूट कॉलेज हुआ कब 18 साल में तो आपने आपकी केमिकल कंपनी शुरू करी कॉलेज 15 पे स्टार्ट हुआ ना साढ़े पंद्रह पे आई वाज वेरी यंग इन कॉलेज आई गेस आई वाज वन ऑफ दो स्टूडेंट्स जो पहले चले जाते हैं जैसे सब सब चीज आप वक्त से पहले हाँ बहुत ज्यादा प्रॉब्लम होती है सो पंद्रह में आई वॉज ऑलरेडी इन कॉलेज एंड आई पिक अप द कैमरा एट फिफ्टीन but some pictures blank i to sold it but bought the same camera after 2 years so i think around 16 and half 17 i started shooting tell us tell us that story kya hua camera ke bare mein acha so kya hua ke i had gone out of the country with my grandfather he wanted to go and i went with him so i saw professional camera I was fascinated with it. Camera? It was the Yashica FX3 Super 2000. Okay. वो ज़माने में अभी भी people would know about it who know from that day. Yes. So I'm talking 85. My father was an art director. हमारे घर में भी ऐसे collection वाले cameras थे हाँ. मेरा वो box से पूरा camera collection है पीछे. So in 85 I picked it up. I you know just read the manual a little bit. I started shooting. and uh, film ka zamana so you don't know what's coming right. it's not digital of course i came back to india do mahine lagte the wo ek photo dekhne ke liye dekh maine to do role udhar hi uda diye free mein do role mile the wahi khich liye i came back to india role process kiya ek hafte baad jab aaya to sab kaale the kaale white light hile hue sab nothing was proper <laughs> i was like yaar ye automatic ghar pe wo better hai Haan. i sold it but it it stayed in my head because the view from a professional camera is very different from an automatic the lens is different the way it out of focus is everything behind the model so wo you know so do saal baad i went abroad again by chance and i bought the same camera at twice the cost <laughs> <laughs> inflation ji do mein do saal do saal mein actually twice the cost and i got it i sat down and i read the manual 100% i shot one roll of film 
एवरी पिक्चर के अमाउंट परफेक्ट बस आई वॉज हुक्ट ऑन टू एड देन मैन आई वॉज एटीन एन हाफ और समथिंग वी स्टार्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट पुटिंग द फैक्ट्री एंड फैक्ट्री वॉज पिटी फाव तो पहले लैंड लिया यू नो इट वॉज इन माई मॉम्स नेम इट वॉज अ वुमेन एंटरप्रनर थिंग बट सिंस आई वॉज द बॉय ऑल द पेपर वर्क रनिंग गोइंग दे स्टार्ट टॉकिंग टू द कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स पुटिंग द बिल्डिंग आप इट वॉज अ प्रॉपर फैक्ट्री बिल्ड इन ऑलमोस्ट वन एकर ऑफ लैंड इन दोज डेज ट्रैवलिंग वॉज बाई ट्रेन वॉज ऑल्सो टू एंड हाफ थ्री आवर्स सो यू नाइ वो जस्ट इट इन द विंडो एंड शूट फोटोज सो द नेक्स्ट सेवन एट ईयर्स आई बिकेम अ फैक्ट्री गाय आई स्टडीड इन द ट्रेन गोइंग टू कॉलेज ऑल्सो वॉज एवरी थिंग वॉज इन द ट्रेन बिकॉज आई वॉज जस्ट ट्रैवल बाई ट्रेन एवरी डे ऑलमोस्ट फाइव सिक्स डेज अ वीक सो ऊपर बैठ के बर्थ पे बैठ के पढ़ना या फिर फोटोशूट करना एवरी डे गोइंग थ्री आवर्स वन वे एंड वर्किंग एंड स्टिल स्टडिंग रिक्वायर्स ट्रमेंडस अमाउंट ऑफ कंसिस्टेंसी एंड सिंसियरिटी नो चॉइस वेन यू डिसाइड टू पट अप फैक्ट्री एट एटीन एंड हाफ विद अ पार्टनर you decide it's done and i i'm one of those guys decide ho gaya to ho gaya i'm not the type of any because I'll, i what happened was two years later i realized i don't want to do this acha two years later till on the day of the opening also of my factory took two years for it to be built up i was like this is not what i want to do for the rest of my life but since i had taken a decision hmm. of doing that i stuck around with it for the next 6 7 years my god till I was categorically told by, you know, my father and my best friend, uh, who I really look up to, and my CA at that point, that you're not going to make money because the partner actually wanted a share. There were, I mean, it was a, you know how partnerships are. Sometimes they don't work. So the choice was to keep struggling. And since I had taken a decision, whether I liked it or not, I was ready to struggle after those seven years, another eight years. सब लोगों ने आपको रोका. Ha huh, that is when my dad and everybody said no you don't need to do this you know just give it up it's fine like you know so i just gave up the company i just gave it up so kai baar log apne life ke decisions lene ke liye ya risk lene ke liye katrate hain they keep thinking should i do this should i not do this how do we look at that what can we do aur wo soch mein hi reh jate hain wo karte nahi hai cheeze and i started my career at 18 and i i always believe making mistakes early in your career experimenting it with everything that you can imagine is one of the best gifts you can give to yourself what would you say on that i don't think we stop making mistakes i'm 52 <laughs> I would say I've made mistakes all my life. I've learned. I'm. I'm still trying to learn. I don't. Well, आपको risk समझ में नहीं आता ना मतलब वो अलग बात है. No, for me it's 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 all about making a decision. You can't keep sitting. Simple thing है. आप आज रोज रोज बैठ के रो सकते हो कि मेरे साथ ये नहीं हो रहा है. या आप खड़े होके काम कर सकते हो. It's a simple decision for me. Of course, I wasn't always like this. When I had my factory, for the first few years it was good, but. When I lost it, I knew three and a half years before I lost it. Okay, I'm going to lose it. Hmm. I just knew. बोलते ना हवा. I knew my partner. I knew, and I came home and told my dad that okay, we are going to get cheated out of this. And he said, No, no, it's not going to happen. Three and a half years later, it happened. But that journey of three and a half years was very tough for me. I was super depressed. I tried to kill myself a few times. You know, my best friend one day while having a conversation told me something very simple. I mean the conversation was little long uh, but the gist was ke tujhe teen waqt ka khana mil raha hai tere paas parents hain right tere ko sone ka ghar hai to tu kyun ro raha hai it was a very simple thing and very frankly uh, you know like in us in sikhs khana is the least thing we should worry about because we can go to any gurdwara and get langar Absolutely. three times a day chai mango lunch mango kuch bhi mango mil jata breakfast mango right so I that day I just realized that I actually don't need anything in life yeah. except my mental sanity. Mm-hmm. If my mind is in my control, anything can be achieved, either achieved, conquered, or you know, uh, uh, walk through or just float along. If you have to at times, it doesn't matter. As long you are in control of your mind. you don't you know lose it you don't get depressed you don't get angry it's it's fine so then i finally resigned I i'm going to interrupt you here because ye jo baat aapne kahi kai baar yahi baat log nahi samajhte we do everything for every little yeah. uh, you know impression on other person for that validation par hum apne khud ke mind ke liye jo karna hai wo nahi karte Absolutely. and that only leads to eventually we have to pay a huge cost for it thank yes. you for saying it because making india mentally fit is the fundamental reason for which we do every piece of content that we do to आपकी जो पहली कंट्रोवर्सी हुई 
जब पहली बार आपको बैन किया गया फॉर मी कैप्चरिंग पीपल इज मोर अबाउट ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड दम इमोशनली ऑल्सो और राधर माई सेल्फ मे बी के वॉट आर दॉट्स दैट कम इन योर माइंड इट स्टार्टेड बाई जस्ट शूटिंग पीपल इन डिफरेंट पोजेस न्यूड यू नो एंड लाइटिंग एक्सपेरिमेंट करना एंड माई फर्स्ट शूट दैट आई डेड वॉज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल बट आफ्टर द पिक्चर्स केम आउट द मॉडल कम्स टू मी एंड आई एम गेटिंग मैरिड प्लीज डिस्ट्रॉय द पिक्चर सो दैट हर्ट मी I said, "This is my work. This is my creativity. I can't destroy it, but I did it. It was film. I did it. I mean, I respected her. I did it. So, उसके बाद में whenever I shot, I made sure that it was a shoot that was going to be showcased, not just shot for an experiment. It did not make sense to me. Mm-hmm. It had to be showcased. There had to be a reason. There had to be a beauty in it. Either it's a beautiful person just looking beautiful, you know, or it's it's got a story." So the first uh, big controversy that happened was uh, uh, that I was called to be part of a group exhibition, one of the biggest uh, group exhibitions of photographers, mm-hmm. and uh, uh-huh. Jahangir Art Gallery. What was it? Yeah, so it was a Jahangir Art Gallery. And how old are you? I don't remember. Must Just be twenty. Like yeah, like no, no, I was old. I started in the business late, so I was uh, when I got into photography, I was almost twenty-seven. I was, because of my factory, I was running the factory, and you know, so when I got into it professionally, I was 27. So maybe at 30, 31, 32, I don't remember exactly. It was 2007 or three. So I was just I thinking of what do I shoot, and uh, I had shot a f- couple friends, boyfriend and girlfriend, who wanted some beautiful pictures of them. We were shooting for a magazine, and you know, so I shot a beautiful black and white picture of them just kissing, nothing else, nothing more than that. and i have a black and white style of photography which uh, stunning <laughs> <laughs> thank you no which in they, those days no one had done even today no one does because it was a special type of film special type of processing so it all looked white and marvelous like you know so so i had that picture and i was just making a layout of kaun se pictures dalunga main you know and uh, like i said i love life and so when i saw that picture i was like this is so beautiful yeah. so i said why don't i do something on love so i never thought about it ki kuch hoga i just thought a man and woman a woman and woman and a man and man because there are all types of love yeah. i didn't even know we had any homosexuality law against it in 2003 like you know i didn't even know that like so i spoke to a couple of friends who were girls they were not lesbians but they were ready to pose so i shot them and then i spoke to a couple of other people and i found two real uh, lovers. men lovers and we did some pictures and uh, as luck would have it i like to show my work right so and i want to show it big i don't want to show it small and hide it or tiny and be ashamed of my work that's not me i'm doing it i want it out there i want you to like it or not like Hate it obviously it. i want you to like it more you know so so i put up really large images like 8 foot was my small images <laughs> and so you had two gay men who were like 12 foot high you know in jahangir art gallery <laughs> and i remember uh, at that time uh, they you know one of the younger i wouldn't i don't know if it's the right word but uh, high court judges yeah. just walked into the exhibition and he went oh my god and he looked at me and said that's beautiful but you be careful okay Aww. and that was the, <laughs> that was the day after the opening you know and uh, it was a well wisher luckily yeah. so imagine a judge was against it wasn't against it yes. but i'm sure he knew the law so he didn't say anything to me <laughs> but and then there was a controversy that happened which should not have happened it just happened unfortunately because of politics between photographers when photographers could not handle that i had such a some of them could not handle that i had such a huge space mm-hmm. and everybody was talking about me you know and it, it just became messy uh the person who started came and apologized to us in front of everyone but the damage was done and i think the controversy got blown out because i walked out of the exhibition and left my name over there i had other images which were also not nudes they were regular work which also i walked out with so you walk into jangir art gallery where you have 100 foot long wall 
and usme se 30 photos is empty which is mine with my name board so obviously it makes a bigger impact Whoa. Well, that's like a big slap yeah it was a big slap to i don't know them or whoever i didn't think about it like that i i would, I would give you an example here uh, mm-hmm. i think when the independence movement was going on they banned certain kind of articles yes. from the british government so the newspapers in india instead of removing and filling it with something else uh, they kept the blank spaces and ah, they printed it as how yeah oh, yeah i didn't know that how awesome is that yeah so they printed all of that to just to tell people that we wanted to convey something and now it is yeah. left blank so you took your work on international platform after being uh, in this whole situation. yeah no actually that continued for a while <laughs> because okay. till today most art galleries don't want to show my nudes even at jahangir mm. there were these people who came i am not i don't remember the country i have it in my archives but they came from abroad they shot a video with me an interview mm. while my work was being up they came back to me after 10 years or 15 years to shoot again what is the state of our country and the Uh, movement forward for what i was doing and they were very sad into hear that you know things have gone bad mm. you know they've gone regressive rather than going forward mm. so i did go and then i was invited uh, you know uh, in the uk to show my work uh, my nudes uh, as part of a joint indian nude exhibition you know and i was the only <laughs> but that is yeah yeah so i was the only <laughs> indian photographer who actually made the effort to go there and that to uk who yeah. actually taught us to not be nude yeah so <laughs> So I actually was the only Indian photographer to go visit uh, and exhibition. have the courage to show you your work. I showed no others didn't reach only. I think I don't know why, but anyway, I had my works over there. Then uske baad me I put my work up. Uh, Ispe international platforms there were competitions and stuff like that in Paris, and uh, I got awarded. And जब मुझे award मिला उसके बाद में by chance यहाँ पे एक art gallery asked me to put my works up. again at a joint exhibition and all that but they wanted to put my work in the basement because they were scared and guess what it was not even a female nude it was a male nude mm. so they were scared to put a male nude ka photo also mm. in the exhibition you know so it's just a perception we have and i feel saddened so i actually haven't shown properly in an art gallery in many years my you know what i would want to show i have had uh, exhibitions at uh, other art galleries There's a gallery called Art and Soul, mm-hmm. which really helps and promotes young, uh, you know, budding artists, painters, sculptors. So I've not shown as a photographer for myself. I don't showcase my work now as a photographer. I don't showcase my work necessarily with joint photography things. I only showcase it if there's artists, painters, sculptors. So I have your handwriting sample, and I'm going to talk about certain aspects. But yeah. let's walk into our coaching session. Okay. Over to you. What questions you have for me? Vita? Okay. So my biggest challenge has been. upscaling uh, or st- starting up my projects and finding uh, the right people to team up with tough question nahi tough yeah. question ye nahi hai ki aapko upscaling kaise karna hai logo ke sath karna hai ki nahi ye sawal hai because some people are amazing with getting work done from people and some people are amazing with being by themselves and being the thought leaders so if your work in any way becomes a space where you can collaborate and learn to do that without having the everyday administration issues coming in the way yeah. to aapki life bahut aasan ho jayegi aur aapki personality dekh ke mujhe lagta hai wo zyada possible hai i'll give you an example why am i saying it when you have a brain brain wave aapko ek se koi idea hai ki abhi karni hai koi cheez to wo idea execution mein badalne ke liye aap plan nahi karte aap in that moment you just get everything required you build that idea in your mind and you jump har baar log aise jump nahi kar pate it's very difficult for them to know uh, they feel unsafe they they want to have a plan of action fir kal kya karenge fir parso kya and you don't have answers you are intense in the moment and that intensity is all that matters if you go that intense and you start building things is all that matters so for you that intensity in that moment matters the most to be able to really uh find an expression of what you have in mind on paper on your camera on 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 anything that you think yeah. that's your only goal outcome to uske baad us usse log kaise kaam karenge usme kaun kitna contribute karega kisko kitne paise milenge ye sari cheeze aap baad mein sochte ho aur logo ke liye aise environment mein 
इस इन चीज़ों का समझ पाना बहुत डिफ़िकल्ट है दूसरी बात आप जब बात करते हो आप जब कोई चीज़ एक्सप्लेन करते हो तो इट इज़ मोर ओवर लाइक लेट्स गेट दिस डन वेन पीपल हैव कॉन्ट्ररी आइडियाज और इफ दे डोंट सी द सेम विजन दैट यू डू आपके लिए बहुत मुश्किल होता है कि हाउ टू वेस्ट टाइम इन एक्सप्लेनिंग देम कि कैसे करना है तो आप आप उन चीज़ों को डायरेक्ट करने लगते हो आई फील दिस इज वेर द कॉन्फ्लिक्ट हैपन्स बिकॉज देन यू आर पीपल फील यू आर नॉट ओपन टू हियर वट दे हैव टू से बट यू आर नॉट ओपन इन दैट मोमेंट बिकॉज आपने जो चीज़ देख ली आपको वो जाके बस अभी क्रिएट करनी है सो यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द फास्टेस्ट वे टू बी एबल टू डू दैट not so sure uh, but one part is right when i have a vision i want to stick to my vision i don't want to understand your vision i want your vision to tell me how It you can, can bring done. my vision on camera that's what i'm trying to say ha uh-huh. so so when people have ideas which are contrary to you you would not indulge into them no no i i i'm a very good listener so i do listen but like you said like for example jab main jo 3d karna tha right आप अगर मुझे कोई दस आइडिया देगा थ्री को चेंज करने के लिए ऐसे करने के लिए इट मूव्स मी फ्रॉम माय विजन व्हिच इज व्हाट आई डोंट वांट टू सो या सो मे बी आई हैव टू फाइंड द पीपल हु विल व्हाट फॉलो मी वन इधर फॉलो यू बट आप उनसे बोर हो जाते हो नहीं कैन आई रिपीट दिस इन अ डिफरेंट वे सो व्हेन पीपल डू नॉट कम अप विद देयर वेज ऑफ सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स यू डोंट एंजॉय वर्किंग विद देम या सो यू वांट देम टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम यस आई डोंट वांट टू माइक्रो मैनेज यस But at the same time, there are certain kind of problems you don't want them to be involved in. So, ये boundary समझने वाले लोग मिलना मुश्किल हो जाता है. एक तो लोगों को सभी चीजों में opinion देनी होती है, या फिर उनको बिल्कुल भी opinion नहीं देनी होती. So, when people stop and ask you, अच्छा इसके बाद क्या इसके, then you get irritated because they say, please do your thing, like you know, you should know your job. But till a point, so that that distinction or that boundary, I think many creative people struggle with. तो इफ यू सेट डाउन एंड स्टार्ट आइडेंटिफाइंग एंड इतनी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड चीज होनी नहीं चाहिए पर हो जाती है बिकॉज यू आर इमोशनली वेरी इन्वॉल्व इन एवरी थिंग दैट यू डू आपके लिए हर चीज जैसे आपने कहा आपको हर चीज में ब्यूटी दिखाई देती है आपके लिए हर चीज उतनी ही मायने रखती है सो इट इज नॉट लाइक आई वुड प्रायोरिटाइज दिस एंड आई गिव मोर अटेंशन एंड आई विल नॉट इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट फॉर यू एवरी थिंग इज डन विद हंड्रेड परसेंट इंटेंसिटी See, uh, there is a saying called everything is important yes and you know, i and i love that it's like the way you remove your shoes is the way you manage your money yeah. is what you believe in yeah. aur aapki kaam ke jaise aap bata rahe the ki aapke har file ke backup 13 jagah pe hote hain aur kisi ke wajah se aapko sari ek saal ki file check karni padi ab ye karna matter karta hai because you want to make sure that that thing is also part of your creative process yeah it is it is if i can't find it kal ke din to i will be wasting more time my point is life is simple i don't want to waste time i cannot waste time on things which don't matter so if things are solved today then tomorrow i don't have to waste time on them so my question to you is do people matter to you in what sense building a team yes they do matter to me but uh, again it matters to uh, for the job that they bring i mean or the work that they can do for me I am known. My office keeps telling me, sir, इसको निकाल दो और मैं एक एक साल रखता हूँ उसको. So I procrastinate कि नहीं इसको नहीं निकालते रहने दो चीज जाएगा कर लेगा. But uh, to for me, if it's a job, then they need to be able to do it. So people do matter because otherwise I can't work without people, right? But it is possible. I think yes. sometimes we uh, open the doors to those possibilities and people, team members come. I have tried it many times. Uh, I am also a believer in work. मे बी वक्त नहीं था मे बी वक्त आ रहा है जैसे आप आ गए कोई और आ जाएगा बट आई फील दैट पॉसिबिलिटी बिकॉज यू नो इन हैंड राइटिंग वी हैव थ्री पार्ट जहाँ पे एक पार्ट होता है जो ब्रेन या माइंड थिंकिंग दिखाता है सो ऑल योर एल लूब्स एंड एच लूब्स टॉक अबाउट द अपर जोन वी कॉल इट द मिडल जोन इज डे टू डे विच इज रोटी कपड़ा मकान एंड देन देर इज लोअर जोन विच इज फिजिकलिटी एक्सप्रेशन ऑल्सो लाइक tactical experiences so in your case the upper zone is predominant which is sorry i forgot thinking huh. imagining you know creatively looking at things and your lower zone is again predominant hmm. which means actually experiencing executing things but the middle zone is in a way compromised hmm. so thereby anything which is every day anything that is day to day mundane repetitive routine not what i want to do yes and running a business having people around you will require that so i feel 
having a social media presence or having that body of work blogging about it or creating a community online may find a midway here because then you will do the thinking part you will do the execution part but the maintenance won't be as much as otherwise it is so if we are willing i know at 52 to try something completely well, i'm always different. trying that's why I, <laughs> <laughs> that's why i said pehle <laughs> i'm always trying i cannot stop trying my problem is that that i need to keep doing something new i need to keep improving i need to keep uh, changing i need to keep learning that is the biggest thing like for example uh, at the moment i must be the only or one of the first photographers who is experimenting with artificial uh, intelligence photography okay in fact wow. i have a new section on my thing where my words and my thoughts are creating images you know mm. so <laughs> and i was asked a question by uh, someone from an agency aren't you scared because for me traditional photography is dead after doing that mm. I just said, "Aren't you scared?" I said, "No, I am excited." They asked me the same thing when digital photography came. Mm. Yeah, aren't you scared? They asked me the same thing when I was, you know, Instagram came. You know, <laughs> ke, at, you're a senior, so you don't feel scared. I said, "No, I'm excited because if you see my work, many people say in the traditional commercial space that you have models, cars, architecture, bhi hai, landscapes. We don't understand what you want to do. So I said, "No, I'm excited because if you see my work, many people say in the traditional commercial space that you have models, cars, architecture, landscapes. We don't understand what you want to do. So I said, "No, I'm excited because if you see my वो आइसक्रीम के लिए भी ऐड बनाता है वो कार के लिए भी ऐड बनाता है वो मॉडल्स के लिए भी कपड़ों के लिए बनाता है उसको अलाउड है नॉट टू बी अ स्पेशलिस्ट बट बी अ क्रिएटिव व्हाई डू आई हैव टू स्पेशलाइज इन वन थिंग आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सपीरियंस एवरीथिंग सो आई कैन पुट इट इन समथिंग दैट आई एंजॉय अलोंग द वे दोस थिंग्स मे चेंज लाइक फॉर मी माय लव इज लैंडस्केप्स एंड मॉडल्स ओके व्हेन आई से मॉडल्स इट्स पीपल रादर नॉट मॉडल्स इट्स पीपल शूटिंग पीपल इंटरएक्टिंग विद पीपल यू नो uh you want to call uh, fashion or nudes along the way yes of course that is part like like you know when you talk about my physicality i love exploring my physicality i love exploring it through photos i love experiencing it experiencing it personally like you know because like i said it's one life right if i'm not going to experience everything given to me by god what did i come here for बहुत कम लोग हैं जो अपने मोल्ड से बाहर निकल के कोई भी मोल्ड में फिट हो सकते हैं मैं पानी हूं ना आई एम अ वाटर साइन सो आई एम दैट रिमाइंड्स मी ऑफ आई थिंक इट इज गुलजार्स लाइन इज आदमी बुलबुला है पानी का और पानी की बहती सतह पर वो टूटता भी है और उभरता भी है वाओ हाउ ब्यूटीफुल इज जस्ट लाइक फॉर यू टू रिमेंबर इट वाओ So when we look at uh, your ability to listen to people and observe them I think you put your heart into your ears when you do that you are deeply observing things that people do not even recognize you walk into spaces which are so invisible I would say non-existent for people to aisi koi baat aap pakad lete hain unke conversation mein to wo dil se dil ka jo connection hai that is amazing for you to understand somebody and connect with them while working as a as an employer or running a team sometimes you have to step away from it and look at things for what they are and in a way choose what to do to ye jo switch on switch off hai wo karna aapke liye bahut mushkil hai Possible. that is the crux of why it is Possible. difficult to Possible. work with people yeah you're right i i realize when i don't come to office and i'm away for one week my office people do more work than when i'm there <laughs> and i always tell them and yeah it's better hota hai <laughs> but it's also understandable because aapki creative ideas shayad us moment mein itni kuch zyada aate hain zyada hoti hai to thereby people get driven by it and they do not do the routine work so i think having somebody oh, just yeah. one person between you and the team would really help you to aise koi baat jo aapko lagta hai aapke bare mein aapko kabhi samajh mein nahi aati ya fir log kehte hain aur aap pata hai aise kaise soch lete hain main main to aisa hu nahi टाइम मैनेजमेंट आई थिंक मेरे लिए सबसे बड़ी प्रॉब्लम है बिकॉज टू मनी थिंग्स आई वॉन्ट टू डू टू मनी आइडियाज आई हैव एंड यू नो जस्ट फाइंडिंग ऑल्सो आई वुड से टाइम मैनेजमेंट एंड वर्कॉलिज्म गोज टूगेदर इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी टू टेक अ ब्रेक मेंटली बिकॉज टिल द मोमेंट आई डोंट यू नो एक्चुअली ड्रॉप माई फोन फ्रॉम माई हैंड i am reading or trying to learn something or you know i wouldn't call it knowledge all the time but knowledge on the things that i love okay, you sorry. know high five on that one 
Okay. I do the same. Uh -huh. So, so, <laughs> so <laughs> how do you? So I, I'll tell you what. So I was a very uh, physically active, fit person, trying to be all about fitness all the time. Few years back, got a little injury, so was up gone for a toss. Also, discipline gone for a toss. So to go back to that level of you know health, mentally and physically, because it it has affected me mentally also. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very difficult, and the same place time management walks in because you know the whole discipline is one. How do you go back to that all over again and disconnect? So, सबसे पहली बात आप जब कहते हो कि मुझे ये करना ही है, तो आपका मन में जो reason है, why you want to do it is extremely clear, right? This is why you want to do it. This is how you want to find the reason. आपका why जो burning fuel in your car is very very clear and thereby you are always inspired to read more and read that one more article or see that one photo or the find that one reference. Now the same why for physical fitness used to be there जो भी खो गया है. So can I walk you through an exercise? Yeah sure. So we call it one watt five why this exercise. Mm. Okay. तो आपका watt clear है you want to get back to your physical workout क्या था physical workout? <laughs> Twice a day, six days a week. I'm going to ask you five why. So the first one is why do you want to get back to it? To be fit enough for myself, I guess, to make myself happy that I'm not tired all the time. Okay. And why does it matter to you that you're fit or you're not tired or like, what is the reason? Why to put in so much of effort? No, I don't want to be unhealthy for my life. It's very simple. Mm. What does that mean? Like, I don't want to... So I'm 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 a very like you know up and go guy. I need to be in charge maybe mm -hmm. all the time. Maybe that's the right word mm -hmm. of myself at least. Yeah. Yeah. So when you are in charge, it it feels good. Yes. Why does it matter for you to be in charge? You know I don't want to be I I wouldn't say a burden, but I don't want to be not physically or mentally hundred percent for myself. Right. But that means being in charge. But why does it matter to being in charge? Why? No reason. I have to be in charge. That's the. It's my life, my spirit. Maybe I don't know. There's Come no. On. Let's take a moment to think. Like, why does it matter? Wherever you do, take up a project, you give your hundred percent. You want it to happen. Even that little, mm -hmm. you know, like little shadow would bother you. So why does it matter to you? That I need to be fit all the time. No. Why you have to be in charge all the time? No, uh, in charge means it, it's about uh, when I say in charge, it's in charge of my mind, right. in control of my mind, so I don't lose it. Yeah. Go into some other space. Right. So why does it matter? Why does it matter? Because it makes me happy. Okay. Because that's all I want to be. Okay. So if you want to be happy, if you want to be happy all the time, and you believe that would impact your life and your work. Yes, I think so. When you're happy, your work is very of different. Of course, of course. So why does it matter to do this innovative, different work where you are up the game and stretching the boundaries all the time? It's for me. It's not for anyone else. It, I, I have to do it for myself. It's a need to keep inventing. And why does it matter to you that you keep inventing? Wow, you're like a dangerous shrink, man. <laughs> why does it matter to me uh, that I keep doing it? Because... Could it be because I want to be number one all the time, uh, at least for myself and in the world if I could be? Uh, but that I don't think is that up there because then I would be out there showcasing, making a noise more. I think it's just to keep proving to myself that I am the best. So when you said that I am the best or it matters to me uh, that I see myself in that light, how important is it? Because if it is truly important and the way you give your 100% to your work and body and mind is your instrument to do that, then you will give 100%. Yes. So where is the gap? Uh, the GST I have to pay is too much. <laughs> <laughs> the work that I'm getting is too less, so I have to push more. No, the work that you're getting is not interesting enough. I, I, I think you've hit it uh, on the head of the nail or whatever. Uh, unfortunately or fortunately, maybe it, it could be an excuse when you say it that if I want to shoot more art, it's not easy in this country. And thereby you are every day forcing yourself that I have to do this, I have to do that, I have yeah, to do this. Yeah. And you remember what we spoke about depression, that yeah. when we surround ourselves with things yeah. that we have to do, 
is where the mind starts fighting the spirit that was my thing aaj us logo ko samajh pana na thoda mushkil hai i agree but at the same time as a society hamara ye kaam hai ki hum aisa ek environment create kar paaye jahan pe agar koi alag soch raha hai agar kisi ke mann mein ek aisa creative sa thought hai to unko wo thought apne aap ko express karne ki space hum bana paaye and that is what was the objective of showcasing this amazing creator because unhe unhe jo sahi laga bachpan se jo sahi laga wo raah pakad ke wo mushkilon ko deal karte hue he decided to build his life his career his entire body of work agar aap apne aap ko kahi pe galat thehra rahe ho because you are different then vikram story would actually help you look at your own situation differently agar aapke life mein koi hai jo alag hai ya fir wo alag kuch karna chahte hain aur aap chahte ho ki are kyu aisa kar raha hai main kya kar sakta hu to vikram ki story se aapko shayad us baat ki bhi inspiration mil sake that is the objective of the aditi sarana show to decode the minds of these amazing people so that you get to understand yourself and people around you a lot better if you like what we do then make sure that you like subscribe and watch all the other episodes that we have released till now 